hello welcome to Mickey and my crown this is Hilda your host um today we have an unbagging of some cross stitch this is gonna be a two-part video I got seven of them I have to open them and know what it is because I'm waiting for the cross stitch of two diamond paintings that I found so when I got these I got this kit of uh, uh, let me pull you closer. I got this kit with a thimble. That's how you pronounce it. For your fingers. And a threader. But I understand that this one for the 14 um, uh, count um needle a tends to break the needle and two bobbin threads two bobbin so you can put the thread where you are so that's pretty neat this is very useful so and I got two of them here's the other one So it's going to be a long video. This one we're going to have one, two, three, four of them. So let me get started with the first one. I hope that everybody is doing okay. I'm going to take the whole thing out because I know that the paper doesn't help with the shiny to see what you want. Here is the first one. It's called Butterflies Fly in the Forest. It's a 14 count. It's 32 by 47. Look at, look at how pretty it is. So let's look at the booklet. Let's see how many colors they have. That's what I go by, by the booklet. It has four pages and it's going to have a back stitch. Woof! This has 48 colors full stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven back stitch, and one French knot. I'm trying to look what the French knot it is. Oh, here it is. It's in the flowers. It's going to be in the center of the flower. The French knot right there. This is a pretty one. I like it. It's colorful. And there's quite a bit of backstage. Okay, let's look at the canvas and then we look at the oh it's not that big well let me put it there. so you guys can see it I don't know Here you go. Okay. So here is the canvas with all the colors. There's gonna be there's some um, blocking on it. 
there's going to be a lot of uh, small blocking that you can continue. I don't see, well, right here, that's what I see the confetti. Right here and right here. But mostly is color blocking. That's going to be beautiful. And it's not that big. So I should be able to finish it. Let's look at the thread. Joy Sunday has always give you two needles. This is an extra thread. And these are the rest. Let me see how I'm going to put it so you can see it. That way is not the best way. The best way is, you know what, the best way is taking it apart. Honestly, that's the best way for me. So, we got these colors over here. What I like is that this cotton is kind of shiny and doesn't give you the problem I heard with the silky ones. Look at these colors. Those blues along with the greens. This is like a gray. It might look black on you, but it's like a gray. Here is some more beautiful colors. I think there is almost every color in the rainbow. Take a look at these ones. That chateau green and the yellows with the oranges 48 colors and then we have uh, a repeat I mean an extra uh, threads so this is a pretty one that I did like I love the colors And I'm trying to get all the, I mean, the most, um, um, how you say it, the most um, cross stitch that match a diamond painting that I have. I already found one that matches the diamond painting with special drills. So you will see when I get it, you will see how neat it is. The bag comes with instructions. Everything that you need to do the uh, cross stitch is here in this kit. The needles, they gave you two. And also they had the instruction. I should have started with this. Tells you how to choose a strand how to choose a thread color, unprinted cloth, and how to stitch unprinted cloth. And I'm not doing that. And over here there is some note, some notes and tip, and then the cleaning and maintenance of the cross stitch. And it gave you uh, the different stitch, a description, on how to do the stitches. So I did like this one. This is a pretty one. Let's go to the next one. They are upside down, so I don't know which one. Oh, the lucky fish. 44 by 52. Let's see.
you kind of have to play with the bag. Here it is. A closer look. It's a 44 by 52. 14 count too. Let's see the book. These all come from AliExpress. Here it is. The big fish. That's the shard. Okay, let's see. This one has 27 full stitch. That's all it is to it. 27. There is two ways to do this. One is using the shard symbol and one using the cloth. I prefer the shard. It's less uh, confusing for me. It's not that big. Let me... Here it is. I have it upside down. Yep, 27 full stitch. Nothing more, nothing less. There is a lot of color blocking. Right? There is some confetti right here in the middle. But still, you know, it's just like a mini confetti. Because it's like mini little blocks of color all together. The lucky fish. That's like a koi fish. For the Japanese, it brings blessing, patience, and all that kind of stuff. Good stuff. Okay, let's look at the color. This one came in a different carton. Now we are used to it. Again, two needles. Look at the colors of this for this fish. Look at this. Look at all those vibrant colors. Beautiful. The reds with the greens. And take a look at these ones. There's some yellow, there's a uh, dark, dark purple in there, and a pink. Another one that I like, I like the vibrant colors on it. It's so pretty. So you can go like, for example, 18, 18, that's 956. And then you look over here for number 18, which is this one. This cotton tells you the DMC code. Those are the DMC code. Then you use this one, right? These 14 count, you use through two threads for this. I love them. I'm loving them. Especially Joy Sunday and the fact that they uh, they're stamp. <laughs> I don't have to break my head anymore. Yeah, but still you have to be careful because with the numbers, if you follow the fabric, unless you are experienced or everything, you should not try to follow both at the same time because the symbols in the chart are different. Okay. And I'm going to show you why. Hold on. I'm trying to put this one. Ah, I'll do it later. Because the shard, like right here, these are the symbols that you go by in the shard. These are the symbols that you go by in the shard. 
right here. You look at the symbol in the chart and you look at it over here and then the thread number four in this case, right? And then you go back here and look for number four. Uh, let me see, here it is. Here is number four. This is number four. So it's completely different. Uh, some people, the experienced people can do both, but some of us like myself who are trying to, you know, learn this thing and starting all over again, they cannot, um, I have to follow the chart. It's easier for me. It's easier. I will use, um, well, the chart tells you the DMC code also. That's number two. Number three. Oh, this one. If I finish the mermaid that I'm doing, I'm gonna before the time of the activity, anything mermaid alone. Because I like activity that lasts more than one month. I'm sorry. I'm too busy for one month thing. So this one. This is the other one that I'm planning to do if I finish the other mermaid on time. This one is 43 by 56 and it's a 14 count. And I'm tempted to start it too. But I'm not gonna do that. Cause I already had the little cat. And by the way, I found the diamond painting of the cat in the cup that I have that I, I put the video on top over here. So you will see it. Let's look at the chart. This one has a lot of backstitch. Okay, this one is telling me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's gonna have nine. This is a booklet. Yep. It's gonna have this one has a lot of backstitch on it. But I'm not afraid. I like to challenge myself. Backstitch nine. Yes. And this one is number nine. So this one has 41 colors. One French knot that I have still have to learn, and two, four, six, seven backstitch of different colors. So I'm tempted, but since he has a French knot, I think I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I don't wanna mess that up. Or maybe I leave it for next year. Here it is. It's so pretty. Let me pull you back a little bit. So you can see the whole thing. This one, I cannot even distinguish her face, but it has a lot of color blocking. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing the color blockings first. Because this one is not like diamond painting. If you pull the cover sheet in one side trying to do the blocking color, you have to have all these papers so your hand don't get stick on the, on the, on the glue. In this case, this is different. 
you know you just have to move your hoop okay so I can do all the color blockings first and then take care of the rest later good look it tells you even the lines of the back stitch that's neat I didn't see that in the oh here is the one another one I'm gonna break them because I have to be careful with this so again two needles and look at the colors on this one there is some pastels in here look at the colors there is an extra over here look at this teal that's beautiful that's pretty I like that more pastels colors in here some of them and some purples and look at these ones to get them mix get all those blues and I like it I like to work with this thread I don't have any problems so far so this is a pretty one a lot of color blocking too I like that Threw something on the floor. I'm loving this Joy Sunday. I don't know about you guys, but if you like cross stitch but you are afraid to start because all the counting and all the stuff, I'm telling you, it has been so easy because you just have to look either at the chart or the or the print uh, canvas and then um, you just have to um, maybe if I put this also it will push the other ones in yep so I like this one too so far unsatisfying this I bought nothing is given over here oh, I got a cute one mommy you gotta get me every time you see something like this you gotta go and get me you gotta go and get me and guess what it is the sleeping cats I think he has more than one cat in here. I don't know. Look at that cutie. 28 by 32, 14 count two, two strands. Oh, mommy. Hey, you're my best friend. Oh, good you to into the mommy. Hmm, you're so beautiful. I'm always telling Mickey that you're so beautiful. With that cuteness overload and it's a small one it's only two pages though the top and it has some uh, backstitch on it too oh yeah I cannot get a break hardly 
Look at those eyes of the dog. And these are the paws, which has also back, a back stitch. Oh, so this one has, let me see, 20, no, yeah, 27 colors full stitch, one half stitch, and three back stitch. Yeah, the half stitch is all around. You see, I match number five. And number five is here. And it tells you. And even tells you the direction of the half stitch. Supposed to go, if you're right-handed, supposed to go that way. This way. Okay, this way. So... That's... That's pretty neat. Oh, bonito de mommy. Ay, yo soy bello. I'm pretty. I'm pretty, mommy. I'm pretty. This is a small one, I know. But this one has a lot of confetti. Little block. The only half stitch is this one around. Here it is. If you go by the... By the canvas symbols... Uh, the half stitch, which is five, uh, is this, um, you know, a square with two square colors with it. And, and if you can see, they are right in there. That's around it. Surrounding the, the paws and the whole thing. That's the half stitch. And of course, the two needles. And that number five, let me check. What the hell is this? Oh, here it is. Number five is this one. Right? Yeah. Number five is this one for the half stitch. Look at these colors. They're muted because of course the colors of the animals. But they are pretty colors. I like I like uh, old Joy Sunday's thread. They are soft, they are shiny. They don't tangle. Only one time I had an incident of tangle, and it was because I was, you know, paying attention. So it was my fault. It wasn't the fault of the thread. Let me get this back here. Oh no, this one goes up front. So I like this. Oh, mommy. How you do me pr soon? I hope you do me soon. I like animals. I like a scenery. I like butterflies. I like flowers. I like everything that doesn't represent death. Because we have enough death in the world to be looking for more. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I, uh, I like pretty things. I like pretty things. We should be thinking about pretty things. And um, so I don't judge anybody who likes skulls and skeleton. You know, that's your taste. Okay, that's fine with you. But I have my own thoughts about what I like and why I like it. You know, just like it for the hell of liking it. I like animals because <laughs> usually I like more animals than people. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, even animals of different species are behaving better. So these are, let me put it over here so you can see it. These are the four that we did today. I'm sorry guys, 
my camera stopped. I don't know why they have this limit about 29 minutes. I never put that limit on it. Um, so this is the four that we did today. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Yes, they're going to get done somehow <laughs> along with all the DPs that I have the diamond paintings but I'm looking forward to the two diamond paintings that I have one has a special drills and one I think is a lighthouse uh, and I found their cross stitch so I'm planning to do them after I finish the mermaid and I finish the little cat which I found a diamond painting too that is on the way so until then thank you I hope you have a wonderful day and love and peace.